Hello and welcome to the new video where I will show you how you can download and install the Seaborn library within Jupyter Notebook. And after installation, I will show you how you can import the library with its famous alias like SNS to start doing your work. And before I show you this library, I just want to inform you that within the description, you can find the uh, videos which is related to the installation. For example, uh, there, are, there is a link for the video of uninstallation to update the package and scenario like those. So how you can install the library? Let me start here. So for this, we need to first use this exclamation sign and write pip. This is the way you will going to write it within Jupyter. So pip install and then you need to write the library name which is Seaborn. And once you hit the shift enter in the windows or shift return in the Mac, it will start looking up the library online. So make sure you are connected to internet. Otherwise, it will not be able to find the library. All right. Once it is, once it has identified the library, you will see that uh, it will uh, mention a uh, few messages and down there it will show whether it is successfully installed or not installed. Also, you can see that the version which is installed is 0.11.2. Now, once it is installed, you will going to import the library using the import keyword. So import Seaborn. And either you can stop here, but generally whenever programmers or the experienced programmers are using the Seaborn library, they mention an alias as SNS. The benefit of mentioning this alias is that with this alias, you don't have to write the entire word again and again. You can access all its methods and functions and properties using this alias. So once you hit shift enter, you will start using SNS dot and press the tab and you will see all these different methods and functions of the Seaborn library. That way you can start using the Seaborn library in your Jupyter notebook environment. So that's the topic I wanted to show you in this video. And now I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.